So, I am now going to finish up our little mouseling. If you can tell from my voice, I've been sick. And I actually lost my voice, so I couldn't do any videos. But let's start right in. We're going to do the basket. And I'm going to do a faded khaki. And our friend, the Mr. Focus, doesn't work. Seriously. There. That's the faded khaki. And it, it's too bright by itself. Actually, no, never mind. I was going to say I mixed it up specially, but I did not. I mixed the other colors we're going to use today. And so I'm just going to get straight in here and just quickly dab everything that I think is going to need to be highlighted. And get the top of that. And be very careful around her hand. I'm going to leave kind of dark near her dress. And one more quick check. There we are. Now what I've done is I have mixed up two parts um, with the original color, which was earth brown. And first one was pretty dark, so I kind of had to add some more color to it. But time to just go in and erase the line between the two. Actually, that's a lot brighter than what I wanted. So I'm going to go into my darker color that I already had mixed up. And I'm just going to go straight back over that. Probably should go the other way. Oop, way too wet. Maybe that entire paint is too wet. I think I just had too much water on the brush. So this part's going to look a little sloppy. And go ahead and get that top just a little bit. It grabs more of that lighter color. I think it went too dark, so I'm just going to try to blend back in some of the lighter color. I might come back in a little bit and let that dry, see what that looks like. But now let's switch over to the apple, which is right there. I had to mix in, I just stabbed my brush on the desk. Mixed in some rosy skin with the original apple color, bright red. And that was my base highlight color that I'm going to do. And I only need a little bit right here on the top, so I don't have enough to paint anything else. So we'll hold off on that. We'll move to the gourd which the original pine green is now mixed with a little pale green and that's so I can get a a color I didn't have a color that was dark enough of a light and there's the cord there get you in focus and I'm just going to do a simple swipe on the top. I might touch the pumpkin just a little bit. I think it's the same color. I'm not going to bother with that one, but that one looked pretty good. So, in there. 
Yeah, it's pretty deep. And then I mixed up, you know, just a little bit darker. That brush is too wet. Okay. And just erasing my line between the two. It's actually going to, looks like it's going to be very, very subtle. But that's okay. I forgot to do the grapes. Let's do... <laughs> I have some of the blue left over. So I'm just going to take some of the blue and some of my red color. And I just made a quick purple. And I forgot about that, so just boop, boop. Actually, it's a darker purple, so I'm going to try to put it underneath, but yeah, just something. I'm not going to look too closely at this one. So let's finish the apple, and I'm going to go into my mid-tone, basically. And I'm just going to brush around the middle here. I think it's too bright on top anyway, so I'm going to get it kind of big there. And I am done with all my highlighting, but I'm not quite finished. I'm going to take the earth brown again. And for this, I'm going to use a not use a wet palette, so planking here. I have a little tray, but I'm going to use focus earth brown and just one little drop. I'll show you it. It's all my nasty palette. I really need to wash it. And I think probably two drops of water will do. So I can show it all mixed up there. And I'm going to move that out of the way. Dip my brush into it. And I'm just going to lightly wash the base here. You know, nothing too terribly exciting about it. But, you know, it just gives a little bit of interest. Get over here too. And I notice I've got some leaves there and some leaves there. So I'm going to go back into my green. I'm just going to use the lightest green. I actually probably should use the darker green. These are dark leaves. I forget what exact color we used. And I'm just going to Press the top of it's a little bit. If I can show that one up close. I should start learning to paint. <laughs> Watch the secondary monitor. So just a little bit like that. And need a little bit more wash there, I think. Along the edge. Ooh, wow, that's ran up the side of the cornucopia. A little bit more here on the back. Trying not to get her tail. Of course, she is dragging it through the mud. You know what? Her face has been bothering me for a really long time. And I just noticed what's bothering me. Her mouth is brown. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of that rosy skin just sitting around. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the pink for the apple. 
and that did not work as much as I wanted to, but moving it back onto the brush did. That was all off grammar, sorry. And so, I'm just going to reach in and kind of fill her mouth. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Of course not. The camera hates us. There we go. So you can see I kind of just dabbed pink into her mouth. Might touch well no, I like her nose. So <clears throat> I'm going to call that done. I'm going to let it all dry. I am going to hit the spot behind her tail with some wash because I forgot that. And you probably can't see, but that's okay. Nothing special. Wipe her tail off just a little bit. And I'm done. So now she's going to dry, and then I'll and start on the next project. Hope you guys like this series, and if you got an idea for another one, which one you'd like to see, drop me a line, post a comment, and I'll see what I can do. Talk to you later. Bye.